Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam? Let's go to over here doing a ranked 1v1, and I am playing Auto Attack Zong. I know I've done this a million times, but it's also just like. I mean, other than it being extremely fun to play, it's probably one of the most fun, like, auto attack mages in the game. Um, the new melee mage. What? Oh, Yorm with auto attack. <laughs> Um, but other than being extremely fun to play, I think he's also extremely fun to watch. Attack speed, Zonkwei, so I'm going to try it out. I kind of want to go Griffin Wing. It, must be my it's, it is dumb. But if I'm going to be a hunter, I need to cosplay as a hunter. You know what I mean? So I'm cosplaying Golden Shard. And uh, I can't remember the name. Griffin Wing. New melee mage. I can't think of her name. Someone help. Is there a new god coming out? I kind of want... Oh, Mammon. Mammon is a melee mage. I always ban Mammon because she scares me. She does too much damage. I wish I could get mannequins, man. Do I clear faster than him? I definitely should, right? Like, I'm doing so much more damage than he does, I think. Yeah, I clear way faster than him. Holy crap. Super fast. Your way to beautiful girl. Alright. I got the minis, which means I hit five on this wave. And now he cannot contest me. I get red buff for free. He walked over here. I just alt and all in, but he's not going to because he has one HP anyways. What are you doing? I'm back. Oh, he's too fast. I can't catch him. Oh. I could try to actually like all in, but I don't know if it's worth. I don't know if it's worth because if I die, I, I just lose a lot of my lead. Actually, I lose all of my lead. Plus some. It's not worth the risk. Which is fine. It's okay. It's just a little slower. Toxic Blade this game? Yeah, more than likely I'll be going Toxic Blade. Alright, let's go ahead and get Griffin Wing. Into Telekines. And then after Telekines, I'll probably go Chrono... Or not Chrono Spinning. I saw his Chrono Spinning. I'll probably go Shoguns after Telekines. Um, this is mine. In fact, I should be able to get every single one this game, I think. I have a very hard time believing that he'd be able to, to fight me. Oh. Look at that damage, man. You have your two? You not have your two? Wait, you don't have your two. You're level seven with no two? What? Why? That's like your best ability, man. Am I insane?
whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I still got auto attacks. And I don't care what he has or what he doesn't have. Because I'm punching him in the head. Ow. Wait, hold on. Ow, there you go. You don't. Is he level 8 and still doesn't have it? There's no way he just died because he didn't have his 2 and still didn't get his 2 when he leveled. There's no way. Where'd he go? Man. I don't know. He's just letting me own. Oh, we got it. He is tanky as shit. Uh, tier 2 Pestilence. I could maybe kill him here, actually. Uh, my one's not going to kill. Dude, if I was out Quash... My one applied that like debuff thing and he stunned himself, then I could kill him. Then I could kill him. Why did you why did you horrific? What was that? Was that a slight bit of aggression I've I've seen? Was that a minor bit of aggression from you? Gonna get tier two. Uh, my damage should be crazy now. Telekines is basically the only item you need in order to do damage. A Zonquipe. Just hit rock. Pick up the rock. Look at this. Look at this DPS now. Boom. An extra 36 per auto. Pretty big. I actually hurt him now. He is extremely tanky though. I, I will admit. Like the pestilence, such a tanky item, man. It's gonna be really hard to kill him. But I can slowly, slowly take tower. A couple hundred HP at a time. Every wave, because he can't kill me. Like Chronos Pendant plus Pestilence, he's got nearly no damage. I'm not tanky at all, and he hits me for 100. Yeah, he, he just has to give up tower here. I can also get his blue buff, I think. I mean, he could ult me and take it, probably. But I, if he ults me and gets blue buff, honestly, he just wants it more. That's fine. Oh, he didn't. my next item hastened probably demonic probably pen look at my damage look at my damage holy shit bro auto attack zong is just mesmerizing you know what it is? You know what I think it is? I think it's just the yellow numbies. I think it's not even that like he's that good. I mean, he is good. But I think it's just that when you see that many numbers, even if they're very tiny little numbers, when you see that many numbers on screen, it just does something to you. It just makes you happy. Oh man, look at that attack speed now. Look at that attack speed now, baby. Shoguns? 40% attack speed? I just realized Telkens is only 15%. That kind of stinks. Come back.
All right. I'm going to have to do Bull Demon, which I really don't want to do. Because I feel like he can steal it easily. Because I just don't have the burst damage. Could definitely just go poly as well. Bancroft's upgrade does count as auto attack. But that'll be like last on the list because that that gives you more damage on your basics based on how much power you have. I just missed my two. Um Can he do this for me? I think he did do it for me. Oh no. Okay, I think I think you're dead though. I do not do nearly enough damage. He, that's why I didn't want to do fire. Because I know he can just ult it. And he knows he can just ult it too. And I, I'm not going to die here or anything, but... It does suck. Um, I wonder if it's worth it for me to just go Toxic Blade now. I want to go Cyclopean, actually. Okay, we're going to go Cyclopean because that double procs as well. And then we're going to go Demonic, and then we'll go Toxic Blade. And I guess we just won't get Bancrofts, which is fine. I don't really need it. He's got a lot of anti-heal anyways. Do this. I don't know where we went. All right. And back to the slow grind of getting Phoenix, man. The very slow grind of getting Phoenix. Maybe not very slow anymore. Actually. All right. I'm happy with that. Dude. Why did he do that? Why did he do why did he walk up trying to defend that? Also, Cyclopean did so much damage. And Telkines did just as much, actually. Look at this. 20 procs of Telkines for 500 damage. And then Cyclopean did probably 500 by itself. Because you you see 420 damage on the proc of Cyclopean, but it doesn't count the one that killed him, like the damage that actually killed him. So it did more damage than than seen there. Right, but uh gg game one i'll see you guys in game two yo what's going on sexy similar squad game two of the video we're playing danza little danza i thought danza was banned this patch but he's not he was banned last patch and i don't think i've played him a single time this patch so i'm pretty excited about that penguin mage sean what does that mean penguin mage i feel like he just put two random words together and made it his name it like two random words and then his words, name huh? uh, by the way have you tried my special umami um batteries? i i want to go ability based because i always go i always go like crit or auto attack based or something i want to go ability based this game which could be trans solid or combo this will help aid my i could go friends. blackthorn i actually think i will go blackthorn blackthorn is kind of just too op to be honest it's just too OP. I got beads so that when he knocks me up with his meatball, I can just say no thanks and then kill him. My net worth doesn't even pop up. Am I broke? <laughs> Reference is before this game started, I looked up uh, Eminem's net worth and Sean Kingston's net worth. 
And then I looked at my own net worth and it only said $70,000, which is pretty depressing. So that's why they're talking about net worth in the, in the Twitch chat, in case you're wondering. Um, who clears faster, me or him? Okay. Bro, don't call Tarkov Cobb. Tarkov's nickname is Tarky. How dare you? <laughs> That's the grossest way to say Tarkov ever. Yo, I was just playing Cobb, bro. Alright, I've been tossed. Um What do I have beads for the knockup? Because a lot of times you're going for these kills and you get knocked up right before you get the kill. Or like I'll alt him and he'll meatball me and I'll have to beads the meatball. There's no way you actually think that you're like doing stuff here, right? out of mana um he does have all oh, i got it yeah that turret did fuck me up though why why did he do that i mean i guess to be fair, he probably couldn't move. Actually, never mind. He probably couldn't move. Um, let's go transcendence. Yeah, he's definitely maxing turret. That motherfucker is tanky. It's super hard. Well, let's go transcendence and then we'll go soul leader and then we'll probably just go like. Transcendence, soul leader. Pressure Hydra's duality, maybe? I just get this for free. I pressed the wrong button. Nice. I tried the beads that knock up and I literally just horrific and they got knocked back. Or I um I horn charted, not horrific. <laughs> Oops. But he was out of mana. Just give me the minis. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. That's fine. I like how I was able to, to simply walk in here and like that was that. I'm actually looking for an opportunity to use my beads just to show you guys that it's not completely useless and he missed. This will help aid my forest friend. Okay. I promise you it's not a bad play because I alt in and then he meatballs his feet right before I hit him and then I get knocked up and I can't follow up with my one. I promise you it's not useless. I promise. Look, I'll show you. He didn't do it. 
It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. You saw that? You saw that? I mean, it didn't get the kill because he shelled too, but like. It worked. You see that? Pretty good stuff. Oh. Can I stack off your turret? No. Wasn't watching do it again. Dude. It's not fair. <laughs> Alright, let's get this. You're not like walking at me, are you? I could have sworn to you that that would kill him. I could have actually sworn to you it would have killed him. Oh, okay, ow. I right, watch this. <clears throat> nice. Perfect. All right, now we go Soul Eater. And then I guess I can't go. I don't really know what I want for my second relic. I kind of want blink. I kind of want blink. He's got all of his, oh God. Come here. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Oh my god. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But I can kill him. I can kill him. Auto. Auto reset. Oh my god. The auto reset with the three and it works. Give me. This game stinks. The auto reset on the three actually works. Pion, pion. I wonder how fast the auto reset is for my three. I think it's only like 0.2 seconds. I, I'd i honestly guess that the animation of my three takes one second. And so animation canceling my three for an extra auto only saves me 0.2 seconds. I'm coming. I didn't get knocked up there. I, I, I didn't kill him either, but hold on. Wait, give me a second. Hold on. Big slow. This, this, this is not how this is supposed to go. He lived? Come on, man. Oh, I just got my passive. Got a huge amount of gold for my passive. Ouch. I do get a soul eater stack every time I kill his turret, though. That's pretty nice. I missed. Please get this. I really do feel like I don't know if there's anything he can do actually Okay, that's hurt Kind of hurts 
That turret kind of hurts. I'm just going to back. Um, more ability power. Crusher into tier 2 heart seeker. Heart seeker. Well, the reason matchmaking in duel is so rough is because the one, it's one of the least played modes in the game. And uh, two, it's a one-on-one. -on -one, so like... In Conquest, you can average it out, and there's more players. But in Duel, it's just straight up like, yeah, you know what? This guy's queuing. Oh, you want a game? Yeah, sure. This this guy's available. What happens if I just alt his ass right now? Or if I just fucking full send this shit? I almost killed him. I actually almost got him. Oh. All right. I think once I get Heartseeker, I can kill him like that. Oh, Heartseeker is not 13. That's Transcendence. Heartseeker is 15. Um, actually, I could just wait until 2,000 gold, and then I could go get Heartseeker and a 500 pot. And then a, and then a red buff. And just do infinite damage. I think if they had Duel to Smite 2, it'll be more popular. Uh, no. I think the only way duel becomes more popular is if the people who make duel, whoever they are, um, add a mode specific balance to it. So like different items, different stats on the gods, different, um, gold from the minions and HP from the minions, like different everything. saying that forever it needs its own balance i've been saying it too but the reason that it's not balanced on its own is because high res says that well they don't have enough manpower and on top of that it's not played enough to warrant the manpower it would require but in my opinion if a mode is ranked and there's leaderboards for it there's like uh, an incentive to be good at that mode if that is in the game, then I think it needs to be balanced. If there, if it's not specifically balanced for that mode, then it shouldn't be ranked. And I know I'm saying get rid of duel as like the main duel guy, but Either you get rid of it or you balance it. Those are the only two options I see. Um, can I kill him? I think he loses here. He doesn't lose here. He gets all for close. Damn it. I wanted to fight him, man. I wanted to fight him. 
That's all right. That's the end of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Dude, ability-based Tanza, his alt does like 700 damage. If I got duality and I ulted and then landed an auto after, I think he just dies. I actually think he would have just died. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I've never seen his windscreen before. I've literally never seen Danzo windscreen before. Is it the same? <laughs> Wait, that's sick. That's a sick windscreen. I love that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.